Hello, welcome. Question number four of WASI 2024 May June edition, written by a Nigerian. We want to find the answer. This one is coming under uh, circuit theorem. So, in the diagram, ABCD is a circle with the center O. The quadrilateral, which is OBCD, is a rhombus such that the angle ADO is equal to the angle OBA, all equals to Y, and the angle BAD is also T. So you have to find the value of T, Y, and the angle ADC, ADC. All right, so let's bring out the properties given unto us. The first one is a rhombus. We know if we take a rhombus, uh, where would they? Okay, let's just say we are having our solution here. If you take a rhombus, it looks something like this, where we have the opposite angles are acute, and these opposite angles are obtuse. So if this is B bigger than 90, this will be B, this will be C. Okay, let me use A. This will also be A, acute angle. That's the first property we are going to be having in there. Then, the other property is that we are going to deal with uh, circuit theorems. The opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180. Meaning, this angle here, T, plus this very angle will also give us what? Uh, T. Okay. Or, we, plus this, the two of them must give us the 180. Then already we know that the opposite angles here are going to be the same. So this angle here will be the same as the angle in the center for the rhombus. Then the angle in the center is formed by the same arc BD at the center here, the center here at the circumference. So this angle will be equals to T. So I can say that angle B O D equals to two times the angle at the circumference. The B O T, this very angle, will be equals to T times two, and that will be the angle at the center is twice the one at the circumference. Then this very angle we have here, we can say that angle B C D will also be equals to T. It is also equal to 2t because that is the opposite angles of a rhombus are equal. If you find the opposite angles of a rhombus are equal. Then come back to the second property I mentioned. The opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral, the opposite angle, give us 180. So I can say that this angle t here plus the angle bcd which will also be 2t to so give us 180. So that is true because of the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. So what happened? t plus 2t will give us 3t equals 180. That implies that we divide both sides by 3. Then t will be giving you, I guess, 60 degrees. So the first part, we are asked to find T. We have T. Where is the first part? A. So, okay, let me just put A here. All this can also, we can put it here as well. Saying this is where we are starting from, but all the same. Then we are going for B. We want to find the value of Y. There are two ways we can get that solution. One is that we are going to introduce another variable, or we just describe. The angle below Y are going to be the same because the line from O to B, O to D are radius. So this angle and this angle will be the same. Therefore, if it is X, X plus X plus the 2T, which is 120, will give us the 180 as the sum of angle in a triangle. So knowing that, we can also use it to find the Y. Or we use the quadrilateral as a whole to find that. Meaning that the angle we are going to have, let me describe it. We are going to have 
Okay, let me use B so that we know we are going to deal with the Y. So from B, the angle T at the top there plus the angle here, which is going to be angle A, B, C. A, B, C. That is one side of the quadrilateral. Plus the angle here, which already we know. We know this by the angle B, C, D. B, C, D as 2T. Plus this by the angle, which will also be angle A, D, C. A, D, C. Will all give us 360. Why will it be 360? This is a quadrilateral. So angle 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 will give us 360. Now we know the T already at 60, so we know what will be here. Then this angle here is the 2T. A, B, C. A, B, C. Include the Y. You know, A, B, C is including Y, this very angle, and this angle. But that angle in the O, B, C is the angle A here, which we say is the same. So if this place is 2T, which is 2 times this, 120, then here will be 120. Here must be 60, here must be 60 to make it a complete uh, 360. This is a property of a quadrilateral. So it means that this very angle that we are left in, these two angles is going to be 60 plus Y, 60 plus Y. I guess we are there. All right. So I will not be using the T again. I use their value. So I'll be having 60 plus 60 plus Y. As in the case of ABC, this is going to be 120. Then here will also be 60 plus Y. All this must give us 360 degrees. So now it is clearer now what to do. 60 plus 60, 120. 120 plus 120, 240. 240 plus uh, 60, that will be 300. So 300, then we have y plus y, that will be 2y. So we're having 300 plus 2y equals to 360. You know what will happen? We subtract 300 from both sides. So 2y will be equals to 360 minus 300. 2y will give you 60. Let's just say 60. When we divide, we add a degree to it. So now we can find y easily by dividing by 2. So from here, I'll be having 2y divided by 2. 60 divided by 2. That will imply that y will be equal to 30 degrees. So the y is 30. This y is 30. That is what we are looking for. So now let's see what the, the c is going to be. We are looking for angle A, D, C. I think we use it somewhere here. Okay. A, D, C. What do we use to represent it? 60 plus Y. The 60 here plus the Y. And that would be 60 plus Y. And Y is 30 degrees. So that gives us 90 degrees. So the value of the angle A, D, C will be 90 degrees. I'm sure you follow through. If you want more tutorial on this, I've done complete tutorial on circuit theorem. Visit my playlist on YouTube. Look for it. Go through all the episode and comment, share, like, and subscribe. Bye-bye.